Hi everyone, it has been too long that I haven't been uploading more content but it was just the matter of the the projects that I've been in so now that we are back again with another video this video will be uh, of memory forensics as part one of the memory forensics I will be playing a CTF on other CTF called how to find the password of a victim machine using memory forensics so the video I've been playing um, this uh, this CTF for some time then I saw that it is very important for me to post this video on the channel so you can see what memory forensics are capable of so if I can open up the browser now um, I know you remember how to acquire memory from the computer through this video so now it is time for for us to come here and then find this uh, this video it is asking for the password I already have played so I just wanted to show you how I found the the password for the machine that was actually affected so in the part two I will be showing you how to do malware analysis using memory forensics because i have a ransomware uh, attack machine um, which i have an image for about three years ago so i i decided that it is very necessary that i i perform some memory forensics on that uh, particular image so uh, for now we will be focusing here the tools that we will be utilizing is the volatility framework from volatility foundation if you remember volatility usually comes pre-installed on Kali Linux but for now uh, my Kali Linux my machine doesn't contain any volatility framework but I decided um, I downloaded it um, right on their website So there are many things that you can do using volatility but as for now because we are in a CTF so I decided I will I will I will show you more about this framework for more uh for more videos to come so let me uh show you this is their website volatility foundation then you can download volatility um so the CTF can be downloaded on the author CTF right here. So what I did was um, to log in and then come so that I can play all these these games right here. So um, without wasting more time, let's begin. Um, let me see. Okay, sorry. So we've got this uh, file here which is an a RAM image so then we have volatility framework right here so what we do is to open up the terminal and then after opening up the terminal then we can uh, run volatility volatility then if you ask for help then it can give you as many uh, plugins as possible that you can utilize uh, as well as the flags uh, that you can use with volatility framework so for now let me uh, ask for the information about this image autocityf.vmem so let me this is the the basic syntax of how to use this yes so we've got autocityf.vmem um, so then we pass image info so it can because volatility utilizes the kernel debugger to to find the version of the operating system it will give us exactly the results so we can utilize various profiles uh, that we that it will give us so let's wait a little bit to see the results that we will be getting right now
so we are waiting a while so now it can give us all some information about the victim operating system um, or the target operating system even the times uh, this was created so that is very crucial information but if you wanted to see um, now what we are going to use here is one of these profiles but I will I like taking the first option so let me copy and then pass uh, the profile as this one uh, there are so many things that I'm going to show you while we are using volatility but as for now because of this CTF I will not go into deeper details but let's see one of these plugins right here it's called PS list it can give us the list of the running processes uh, while this RAM was imaged so now let me see yes so you can see a process and a process ID and many th uh, some more information that you, you can use for for memory forensics and then you can even export this and then do some reverse engineering so there are some of the memory forensics are actually an important part of uh, 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 investigations so it is critical that you are more familiar with uh, memory forensics because for you to do reverse engineering you need to pass memory forensics so that you can export that from RAM then you have a portable executable so for now let me clear all this and then um, um, let me check uh, let me ask for help so there are plugins because I wanted the password I'm going to utilize the registry information uh, so that we can see whether we can get some of the of the information from the Windows registry because volatility can give us even the hives and some more information so let me check um, I know that there is a hive list hive list so now that we can get the list of the hives let me go up and see whether there is a hash dump um, let me check okay yes so we've got the list of the of the registry hives <coughs> sorry so now that we have the registry hives so what we can do is to hash dump <coughs> hash dump um, let's pass y and then take some of these uh, this uh, these offsets so that we can see whether we can get the passwords one of them is the hardware and we have the the this one let's take this two and then see whether we can be able to get the password right here and then maybe we can pass it to uh, hashes dot txt if we get the hashes then we will be winning because we will track the the hashes using some wet list so let's see um let's cat into hashes dot txt then we get nothing which implies that uh the we couldn't manage to get the the password hashes so let's use this one alone so we can see whether we can get some something easy so now we can see that um, there are various password hashes here but maybe <coughs> it will be um, it will be hard for us to crack this password so what we can do is to go and check some other plugins but we can take these ones 
um, and then after we take these ones and then collect them somewhere we want but because it's a CTF game we don't have time to do that what we can do is to check for um, let's check for another plugin that can help us to find the um, the uh, um, let me check LSB let me check uh, yes so what I wanted is to dump the secrets from the registry such as passwords and many other information so now let's see so let's open up that um, and then see what we can be able to get now um, you can see that we managed to get the default password using memory forensics apart from rig and uh, administrator and many other password hashes so we got the default password that we can utilize uh, on that machine so uh, we can copy this password so this is the bytes for the hexadecimal bytes and the memory addresses so this is how we got into the default password so if you copy this password and then you paste it right here this is how I got the the password right but what you do is to uh, what you do is to to remove these decimal points and then just paste this uh, this pass this or uh, this this uh, characters right here then these are the 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 the, 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 the password this is the password so with this I would like to thank you very much for watching this tutorial I think you will subscribe and like this channel and make sure that if you like my content you make me make more content it is just that I was so busy but right now I'm back into the labs thank you very much for watching peace